is what it looked like. It was dark. And as we got closer to it, it looked more like a turtle shell. It actually looked very much like this. And almost, oddly enough, it almost had a, a look that it was like alive, like a shell or something. So we referenced it as a turtle shell. <clears throat> I, uh, I stood outside of it um, with my brother. And just like that, we were, we were inside of it. And, um, and that was kind of what, it, what we saw before I got in. Very similar to what it looked like. There's that wishbone tree. So we would have walked by it, something like that. Now, the light did not come out from lights underneath it that you saw. There was a bit of a glow. But um, there was enough that you could see it, but not enough that you would really know what it was at the time. You see that okay? So this is kind of what it looked like when my brother and I were first welcome guests. He was standing next to me and to my left. So I would have come in here into that little box. My brother would have been standing right there, which would have been up in front of me a little bit. And he had something <coughs> with him, like a, uh, someone accommodating him or keeping him in check. But he looked like he was sleeping standing up. When I walked by him, he didn't even reference seeing me, although he remembered seeing me. So I passed him. I walked. This was more curved, like a question mark. But that's a pretty good idea. And I was taken up to the top third of what would have been a donut, which would have been the top third of this. So if I came in here, I was taken like that up to this top part of the graft. You can see that. I was paused at this part, which was much darker. I saw two stools, like two tables, a couple of different entities. And then there was a screen that projected what looked like a, a sneaker shape, so a star formation, and then that flipped to a willow tree and some water. Then it went from like 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and it was just going to hold up back and forth. It just was like a huge plasma TV. I mean, it was that brilliant. But the tree was moving, lights were coming through it. It was absolutely captivating. But it took my mind off my brother. And then when I realized my brother was no longer behind me, he was in another room, and he had his tub on little yellow and white tongue on it. So it was removed. Now I put this slide in because I think it references how the inside really looked as far as lighting. I wouldn't say the structure, but that's kind of what it looked like. And that's what it looked like for me to be standing there. The best that I can make out of it. The tree was on the end like that. But the tree was off to the left, and it was a body of water and sky. It almost looked like a live feed or something recorded. It looked very much like the area we lived in, if that makes any sense. Now, this particular slide I put in here to give you kind of a feel as of what it would be like to walk that. So, Hopefully it won't be jerky. <laughs> so this is where I came, came in and I was accompanied. We always had an entity or figure to our left, never the right, even when he was on the wall he was to his left. This is very, very close. And then stop here. Now, this obviously is not really accurate. It's just the best that we could do. Now this yellow right here would have been like a copper or, or gold. It was not shiny silver. These things were very brown and bronze looking. And so was this one. This I don't really know for sure. We just put that in. As far as the bend on this, my brother and I remember being able to see underneath it. We didn't want to make any uh, suggestions other than what we think it would have made sense. But it did not look like it was a solid piece that we could see underneath it, so that we did it that way. And again, this is a better shot of what it would have looked like. Why a willow tree? I've been asking that 
question to myself for 40 or 50 years. I like little trees, but uh, little trees are where aspen comes from, if you know that or not. You know, so there are some health benefits to it if that means anything at all. So we're going to jump ahead now to 1969, which is really what got us elected. But at this point, that part of what I shared with you was what we first shared at our restaurant when people came in to eat. You know, little by little, we had the same people come in and we wanted to share what happened. You know, you're not going to believe this. And, and they didn't. And um, <laughs> so, uh, suggestive, you know, you should have said you are going to believe this. Um, but they didn't. And my mother, at that point, was single. Uh, and she was running a restaurant with my grandmother, Miriam. And um, the way she would work it, there was always that table of four who would come in and give her a hard time and lock the front door and turn people away from eating there. And, and um, you know, we had bikes for the kids. It was right across the street from the school. So it's where all the kids used to come over for like 25 cent shakes and everything. And so they would leave their bikes in the back. And then, of course, you know, a bike would be missing. You know, that all it just really made it. It's, it really made it tough. But, in 1969, that kind of changed because so many other people became witness to it. And it's, oh, I would believe Joe all the time. Yeah. Yeah, sure.